Continuing our discussion with Bash and working with web, um, here are just some, some additional tools and utilities that are very helpful when dealing with um, Bash and, and files that you get off the web. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is DOS to Unix. So this is basically if you've got a file that has the extra end uh, lines on it that a, a DOS or a, a Mac file will have, you can actually convert those very easily just using DOS to Unix. So this is going to remove those extra uh, non-printing character returns at the end of a, a DOS file. It's as simple as just saying DOS to Unix and then giving it the file name. You can also do this with um, using SED. So SED would do a global search for a, a control M at the end of the line and then just replace it with nothing. The opposite of DOS to Unix is this idea of Unix to DOS. So if you've got a, a Unix or Linux file and want to be able to read it in DOS, uh, you can just do the, the same thing backwards. So Unix to DOS, DOS to Unix. Another uh, very handy uh, bash or, or, or Linux Unix command is just called cut. Cut is basically where you can take a file, select a delimiter in that file, and then each portion of the file between those delimiters now becomes a um, field that you can use. So in this example, I've just got a, a file.txt. Um, Unix or Linux is good. Um, is good, OS is good. Uh, if I were to say cut column four of that file, you would get UXUL. So you can see where column four is um, X, U, and L here in that file. Um, you could get ranges of columns. I say um, I want column four and column six, um, or I want say column four through column seven. Uh, so those are those are just using um, each line or each character, I should say, as a a column. You can go in and specify your delimiter for columns. So in this example, I'm saying my delimiter is a space, and I want to use um, the field two. So if I said the second um, field on each of these would be the second word. So in this example, it's or, Unix, and Linux. So if I said cut delimiter space field two, I'm going to get the output of or, Unix, Linux. Um, the next example, I'm asking for fields two and three. So you can see where cut is a, is a very powerful tool um, that's good for processing text files. Uh, sort, again, another really, really handy tool to use with, with Bash. Uh, this lets you uh, sort, merge, compare from um, files or even the, the standard input. Two very important uh, parts of sort I think you should know are the reverse sort and the numerically sorted sort. Uh, some examples, you might just say, um, you would say sort a text file or uh, do a numeric sort of of some numbers. So those are just good examples. Uh, Unique is also a really, really handy tool. Um, Unique allows you to uh, take uh, adjacent lines in a file and it'll, it'll find them and print them out. So you can either um, filter them out, remove them, um, do that sort of thing. So you can see where you could sort in and then Unique a file used in conjunction would be a, a very powerful set of tools to um, uh, either alphabetically or numerically sort and then remove duplicate lines. Um, counting is also again um, a, a really really uh, handy this is with um, unique so this is a unique count um, so I would say I want to sort and then um, count the, the, the number of duplicates. So in this example, I've got a list here called apples, oranges, and apples. I'm going to sort that, that list called fruit, and I'm going to pipe that output to unique, and I'm going to have it give me a count. 
Um, so I'm sorting alphabetically, and then uniquing is also uh, giving me a count of the number of duplicates. So you can see I've got one orange and two apples. Sed is a very powerful uh, GNU uh, software package. Um, Sed just means, uh, it actually stands for Stream Editor. Uh, this is just a method of um, editing uh, streams of text. Uh, what we're going to just talk about is a very, very simple search and replace. So in this example, I'm just going through and um, I'm saying I want to search the file called input.txt and I'm searching for the word hello and I'm going to replace it with the word world. So search hello world. Um, you can also do things like um, global uh, search and replace. So I'm going to search hello world and replace globally uh, in the file input text. Uh, if I were going to run um, said in a script, you can just give it the dash E. So it, in this example, I'm running said in a script. I'm going to do a substitution or search. I, I Sorry, I call it search. It should be actually substitution. Um, search for the word hello. I'm going to replace it with the word world in that uh, absolute path name and file name. Search, or I should say said, is a regex aware uh, package from GNU. So recall that uh, regex just means it's regular expressions, uh, which is just a, a pattern of, of characters to search for. It was Regex was actually developed in the 1950s um, and has now become a POSIX standard. Um, Perl is, is, a, is a good example of a Regex aware software package. Um, building regular expressions can be difficult. There's a really, really great graphical regex builder that you can actually use example text on the screen and build the regular expression, and it'll actually show you by highlighting the words or, or characters that it's going to be finding by as you build the regex, regex expression. So I highly recommend you go to this website, regxr.com. Uh, it's all online and it is, is a really, really great way to, to brush up on, on your regex skills. Um, another uh, regex aware package is um, awk. Um, awk just, is the, just stands for the last names of the, the people that, that wrote it. Um, awk is actually, believe it or not, it's, an, it's another programming language. Um, what you're actually doing with awk is you're writing a small awk program and then applying that to a file. Um, again, like said, awk does a find and replace of text, uh, but it's really nice because it, it, instead of just spitting the output out, it actually puts it into variables. Um, so you can do something like um, here's a very, very, very simple awk program called print string two. What that does is we'll take the second item of each line and, and print it out. So I'm going to run awk. I'm going to run the awk program print string two of that input file. Um, you could also do something like this. Um, I'm going to run a new awk program that's going to search um, for a particular item and print out the entire line that contains the, the results of that search item. So in this case, it's onc, I'm searching for the word search and I'm printing out the entire line. Uh, so um, you can see where awk and sed are very powerful uh, tools that you can use in your bash scripting.